The Rat Trapped by Selma Lagerlof Selma Lagerlof was a Swedish writer. The universal theme in her writings was goodness can be awakened through understanding and love. A gaunt man was selling rat traps of wire. His business couldn't support him. Soon, stealing and begging became his habit. One day, he was struck by the idea that the whole world was nothing but a big rat trap. One evening, as he was wandering, he saw a little grey cottage. The owner of it invited him in. During dinner, the old man told the rat trap seller about himself and his work. He even showed him his 30 kroner bills. The seller saw where they were kept. After dinner, they went to bed. The next morning, they went their own ways, but the rat trap seller returned to the cottage. He broke the window pane and stole those 30 kroner bills away and took the parts to the woods. It was late in December, darkness was already descending over the forest. He heard the sound of hammer strokes and staggered in the direction of the sound. He reached a forge where the master smith and his helper sat near the furnace. The blacksmiths were indifferent at the intruder. The intruder asked for a place to stay. The master blacksmith nodded without saying a word. The iron master saw the intruder and approached him. The iron master mistook him for his old comrade addressed him as Niels Olof. Fearing that he'd be caught of theft, the rat trap seller concealed his identity. The iron master invited Niels Olof home. The rat trap seller declined it, fearing of apprehension. Assuming of his embarrassment, the iron master told him about his dead wife, his boys who were abroad and his daughter who stayed with him. The Iron Master invited him for Christmas, to which his supposed comrade declined again. Half an hour later, the Ironsmith's daughter alighted from the carriage. She entered the forge and met the rat trap seller. She introduced herself as Edla Wilmanson. She grew suspicious of the man's visage. However, she invited him to stay for Christmas in such a friendly manner that he agreed. The rat trap seller now regretted his theory. The following morning, the Iron Master was excited to see his colleague at breakfast. The duo opined differently about the guest's behavior. The guest groomed himself with the suit of the host. When the guest entered, the father's doubt was clear. The Iron Master knew now that 
he was not the comrade he thought he was. The rat trap seller tried to explain, but the iron master would not budge. He wanted to call the sheriff, but the seller pleaded. The seller said that today he was a victim, but tomorrow the iron master would. The iron master asked him to leave. Just then the daughter entered. She was communicated about the guest identity. She reacted differently. She made herself homely. She led the stranger to the table and asked him to eat. In the evening, the Christmas tree was lighted. After dinner, he got up and said thank you and good night to everyone present. The girl told him that the suit he wore was to be a Christmas present. She invited him for the next Christmas Eve. The next morning, the duo went to Christmas service. She was dejected to learn that the rafter was robbed by a man selling rat traps. The eye master wanted to reach home at the earliest. He grew apprehensive that the stranger might have stolen many silver spoons. On the contrary, he learned from the valley that the stranger had left a package for Miss Wilmanson as a Christmas gift. On opening the package, she cried with joy. In it lay the three wrinkled ten kroner notes and a small rat trap. He requested her to return the money to the crofter. The rat trap was a Christmas present from a rat who would have been caught in this world's rat trap if he had not been raised to a captain because in that way he got power to clear himself, risen with friendship and high regard. Captain von Stahl.